Welcome to a different kind of out of the box video. Today I am playing Final Girl and I am playing the Camp Happy Trails. And rather than do a setup video or start a playthrough, I thought I'd get the game going um, and you can see how it's going to end. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a bit of an overview for those of you that have no idea about the game, um, how it's been set out, a um, bit of a setup. So if you're not interested in the setup, let's get forward. Um, and then I'm going to play out the last couple of turns because um, I'm about halfway through. So in Final Girl, you are playing a character. In this case, I am playing Lauren. Um, and Lauren has these icons for the people that res she's rescued. So as I rescue victims, I get to put these on. So I have rescue two. And each of these gives you some kind of bonus. The game is driven with a, a kind of um, a threat, ho a horror level. And this is the, the horror board. So I've got my life here. I've got four life left. The horror board determines how many dice you throw when you have to make decisions or when actions happen. And at the moment, I'm at horror level five. During the game, uh, a lot of things are determined by time. So there's a time that you spend time to um, take actions. And then I have a backpack. So I have a first aid kit in my backpack. And fortunately, I've just picked up an archery bow, which has three arrows, which hopefully I'm going to use that soon. In this game, I am playing against Hans the Butcher. He currently has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine health. Um, I think I caught him in a bear trap, which is quite handy. Um, as Hans goes around the board, um, killing off victims, his bloodlust goes up. And as your bloodlust goes up, he gets to move further when he moves, um, hit harder when he fights, um, and he's just hit his dark power. So this was a random, you get about four of these, and you randomize them, and it just flipped over. And what this one means is whenever he kills a victim, he will recover one health, which is quite annoying. He also has a finale card that I haven't seen yet. So I'll see that in due course, and that's also um, randomized. So you get a bit of randomization there. The main action happens in Camp Happy Trails. Here we have Final Girl, who is purple. We have Hans, who is way too close, um, in red. And all these little victims. The victims get placed based on a setup card, which is also randomly determined. Um, and you also draw one event card. And the event card that I got was one called Fresh Meat, which meant that um, there were six extra victims added to the map. So that's why I have so many left. Um, I've only had four killed so far, which is kind of handy, but one of them was a special character um, because from one of the tarot cards, I drew the Vengeance, which tags a particular victim for vengeance by the killer and he makes a beeline for them and kills them as priority. Um, that didn't go too well. So I've got clumps of victims floating around. The, oh, the other thing is you have to collect items. And so I'm currently in the utility shed. So I'll be searching for items there. So I've currently used the bear trap on Hans, um, but there's other items. One of them's face up because you get one face up on each deck when you start. Um, and as you cycle or, or dig through them, they either get revealed or not. The way that this game works is um, you have a final girl um, phase where you play cards that are in your hand. Um, they use up time, you roll dice. When you've finished, you discard all your cards. You get to purchase new cards using whatever time you've got left. Then your killer has a terror phase. And um, then there's kind of a, a panic phase in case any of your little victims want to panic. Um, and then you have a cleanup phase at the end. Um, the cards all have different values, so you have to juggle what you think you're going to need in the next turn. And you can also spend cards to alter your dice rolls. So that's quite handy if you want to do a bit of dice manipulation. I've got two terror cards left, and then we hit the finale card. Um, and we'll see what happens in this particular game. So. I'm starting a new 
a new, new turn. Um, and so the first thing I do is I've got action cards and choices to make. I'm currently in the utility shed and the first thing I'm going to do is a search. So I'll roll two dice and I get two stars, which is perfect, which is I can take the top two cards or cost me, cost me a time, one hour, time unit. I can take the top two cards and see what we get. One, two. So I've got a knife, which adds one to damage. I hold it in one hand, and I have a flashlight. Once per action, I can spend time to look at the top card of the terror deck. Don't really care about that, so I think I'll stick that at the bottom, which will be under there. Now I've got a decision to make. Um, this will add one to my attacks. But I'm pretty sure I can't just swap. I have to quick look and see when I can swap things out of my um, out of my hands, because you can only hold two things at, the, at a time, and I've got a, an archery bow at the moment. Okay, so you can rearrange things in the upkeep phase. So I don't see that I'm going to be attacking this round. So I'll stick it in my backpack. I can spend two to fire my bow, which doesn't cost me a roll, but it does cost me two time. But I get to do one damage, which is handy. What else have I got? Um, not great, really. Um, I could try and focus. Focus allows you to gain more time. So I roll my two dice. And I get one success. But I also have a close call. So if I spin that, I can reroll one dice for free. Two successes, so that's pretty good. So that removes one level of horror, and I gain two time. That was used. Don't need anything else from the utility. Um, Hans is probably going to go for a victim. I've got a guard card. I could walk. Maybe I'll walk, see how far I can get. Oh, I should, re I should record videos more often. Um, two successes means I can move two spaces and it costs me a time. So if I go two spaces, I'm gonna go to here and try and vacuum up another victim. And if I can move one more next turn, then I'll be safe. Okay, so, I've got no more cards, so we move to the planning phase, and these ones I've used, so they're out. I get all the free ones, all the ones at zero cost that I used last turn, so they will come back for free. And I've got four time left, so I've got enough to buy four. I think he's probably going to come and have a go at me. Um, I'm going to spend all of it on a Furious Strike. Oh, for a Strike. Maybe I'll get a distraction. So it's a three and then a close call for one. I'll have those. That will get me down to zero. So we reset. It goes back up to six. The ones that I spent go back into the card tableau. And that's the end of my planning phase. Now we have the killer, killer phase. He would attack wherever he is, but he's got no one to attack, so that's handy. Um, so we draw a terror card and see how things go horribly wrong. Roll a die. Oh, fire. I'm not too bothered about this. Let's roll a dice. And we get a three. So the utility shed bursts into flames. All victims in that space are killed. No one there. Discard all items there. Don't 
back here because I've already been there. If you or an enemy are there, each lose one health. Not bothered about that at all, so that's probably the best one I've had for a long time. Okay, now I've got a choice. Keep my bow or equip my knife. Because I'm in the upkeep. upkeep. I think I'm going to keep my bow, so I'll, I'll pop him one more time. Okay, so now we start next turn. Well, I remember I'm going to do that, so I'm going to fire my bow. It's going to cost me two time, and that's one health. I can't, because he is two away. Right, um, then I will do a walk. And let's see what we can get with that. Okay, so I've got one success, um, and I could spend two cards to make it two successes, but I only want to move one, so that's fine. Um, I'll use one time, and move one to here. Because it's green, these two victims escape, and rescued, and I get to put them on my board, and that allows me to get extras, so I can put one on this one and get two extra time. And then I could either get a new card. Maybe do that. I can put it on this one and get a card up to a value of two. So I'm going to grab a sprint. And then I'm going to play my distraction. Because that should give me some more time. And I get one success. Which I'll take. So success. You know what? I'm going to play my close call. We roll that die. This two would be so much better. Okay, so I've got one success and actually I should have put that one over here. Um, you know what? I'm going to throw away those two. That gets me two successes, so I can take this down two, and I get two more time. Right. Why don't we go and rescue some more people and be able to flip up? So I'll do my sprint, I think. And that gets me a nothing. Or oh, I can throw away these two cards, move two spaces. One, two. That'll cost me a time. It's kind of costly, but gets me where I want to be. No more action cards. I don't think he's going to get to me next round. So I'm going to keep my archery just in case he's in range. I've got six to spend. Um, oh, I could have gone to the dock. Maybe I'll take a search. Take a sprint. It's four. Um, I'll get all the free ones. And I am going to take a guard because stranger things have happened. And that's my six. So that means six gone. Six comes back. Um, they go back into the shop. Those ones can go to the side. Distraction. The rest are the close call walk. Keep my bow. End of planning phase. Killer phase. He's got no one to kill. The last terror card. Which I think is going to make things... What's that noise? Let's go and see if there are no victims on the board. No, all victims move one space towards the closest enemy. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's roll the dice, see which way they go. Three, they're going this way. Okay, 
Let's see, okay, that way, and there's two, or that way. Then, he kills one. Ugh. Bloodlust goes up. And then he'll move to the closest victims. Okay. So that's the terror phase done. Panic. Someone died. They're in the same place with him. Both of those meeple victims are going to panic. One of them is going to go to the five, which is that way. And this one's going to go five. So they follow the arrows, follow, follow the numbers. So they panicked away, which is kind of handy. We now get to upkeep. There are no terror cards, so we get to turn over the finale card. And that ups the ante because he's got lots of running and killing. Oh, and he killed someone, didn't he? So he gets an extra health. I've got that. So that's gonna make life a bit harder. Now I think I'm going to He's not going to give me next turn. I'm going to keep my bow just in case. Otherwise, I'm going to be attacking him with a knife, which isn't going to be great. Anyhow, next phase. Um, action cards. Um, I think we will sprint. Because then we can get some people to safety and see what happens. Okay, so we've got one success, which will allow us to move two. Which is all I really want this time. So that's fine. So we'll sprint for two. It's going to cost me time. And we'll pick up, as you ran through, we'll pick up two victims. And they come with us. And I can put a cane of health. Which is handy. Back up to max. And we gain two time. Now we're full. We can turn her over. Whenever you're in the same space as an enemy and inflict damage to an additional enemy. Okay, so that's going to be useful. So that's good for the knife. So that's my sprint. Um, I've got a search. So I'm going to walk back. I'll play my walk, see if I can get back to the dock. Get a one, which is one space, which will do me, and it'll cost me time. Then I'll play a search. Two stars, take the top two items, and keep one and throw them out. So I've got a map. Care about that motorboat. Place the motorboat at the closest space, spend two to use it to travel. Yeah, that could be handy. So that could go to the bottom. I really want a big meaty axe. So I'll put the motorboat at the dock. Place the motorboat at the closest thing, spend two to travel to any other space bordering the water. Okay, so I'm going to spend two time and go whizzing over there. Hello, and then I'm going to spend two more time. It's back to the dock, and the victims will come with me. So that should give us a bit of breathing space there. What else can I do? I might well use it. Focus. One that loses the time, but I go into the green zone, which is very helpful. And that's my end of. I only got one left, so I will buy a close call, get all the freebies, and all the rest of them, go back into the shop. the end of my planning.
Shira. Um, there is no, I don't I believe when we hit the finale. I'm usually dead by now, so I'm, I'm just going to have a quick look at the finale to make sure I'm not doing something totally wrong. Read the finale, blah, 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 nuclear action, blah, 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 action, new action is tarot, you no longer draw tarot cards. Okay, so he's going to move twice, and he's got a current movement of two, so it's going to give him a movement of four. He's going to prioritize victims. Oh, what's that one? Oh, he gets a bloodlust. So he gets a bloodlust which means the terror will go up. Then he'll move four. Who's closest? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And then he'll attack. So he'll kill one. He gets his bloodlust. He will regain a health. That's the end of. He's just running around the board killing things. End of his turn. Upkeep. Um, I'm going to swap out my bow for my first aid kit and my knife. I think things are going to get messy fairly soon. And then it's the next turn. Uh, I'm going to try walking. Take the one space, that's fine. And I'll go one space, take my two victims. Each one of these gives me an extra time. But more importantly, they're off the board. Um, can't do much else really. I can try focus. Spend two cards, a short way to rest, and my weak attack to make that a success. Make that one a success, which the hero goes down one, and I lose some time. And I've got a close call on the guard, so that's all I can do. But I've got lots of time, so I've got six. Six, six, six. What shall I do with that? I'm going to grab a sprint. I have a search because I'm hopeful I'll find something in the dock. That's two. Um, that's probably a waste, but I'll grab another coast call because they're just so useful. I have the freebies. Back up to six. Ready to go to the shop. His turn. So he gets a bloodlust, which means he goes up one, which is fine. Um, he will stay where he is and kill that victim. There's another bloodlust. Has he got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? So he can still have another health. It's going to be full strength before I know it. Okay. No upkeep. My go. Um, I'm going to run a sprint. I think I should be able to do a nice little circle. Sweep them up on the way past. One success. I believe we moved two. Yeah, that'll be fine. So it's going to cost me a time. I'll go one to the dock. While I'm here, I'm going to do a search. Get one success. I can take the top item. Um, you know what? I'm going to play a close call and see if I can do better than that. And then I'm going to throw away the guard. My focus, I'm not going to regret that. Um, and that's going to turn that into a double. 
search, which means I can spend a time look at the top two. I really need something good, like a big axe. Aluminium bat, which isn't much better. Oh, whenever you inflict damage with end that, you may immediately discard a minor dark power. That doesn't help because he hasn't got any. I don't really care about the whistle. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't think that's useful either. I'll take it. Gotta take something. Then I can go back. So that was a bit of a bust. Um, what have I got? A walk. Let's see if we can get these two out and get a bit more time. Okay, it's on the floor. On a good sign. Okay. So I've got one success, which I can move one space for one time. Which I will do. Because that gets us to the zone and those two are free and I get two free time. End of... And I've got... Five. Oh, he's gonna come running soon. Um, guard and a distraction. Oh. Improvise. Five. Yeah, I'll have a. Guard, go to strike. Yeah, I get a distraction. It's always good to um. So then I'll have all the free ones, and all of these could go back into the shop. Sprint, let's call so. End of my planning, color phase, he's at maximum bloodlust. Um, so I guess that means he gains a health because it's the loop which then triggers that. So he's just going to be making. So I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Can we have one more? Okay. And then he does his move. Which will, well he's got, he's moving 3 times, so he's going to move 6. So that's no problem to get there. Kills off the last victim. So you get another bloodlust. We'll get him another health. So he's on full health. And it's just up to me. Okay. Always jump on the boat. Get to the cabins. And it's not such a bad idea, actually. So maybe I will do a distraction. While I've got all my cards. Four, a double one, so I get two of those and I get two time. Perfect timing. Okay. The weak attack. I'm just not going to make much damage. So I'm going to walk, see if we can get to the boat. That was rubbish. Um, I'm going to spend a Two time to reroll all my dice. Much better. I really am going to walk one, so that's fine. I'll spend one time to walk one. Then I will spend two to jump across to the cabin. Of course, I don't have any search, but that's fine. Maybe I'll do a focus. Because I've only got three. Is that retaliate? What's that? That's four. 
Ooh, and silk cards as well. Quick. Pretty sure. At any point in action card, you may discard as many action cards as you wish for one time each. Okay, so when I'm going to discard the focus to get an extra time, so then when I have my planning, I've got four, and I'm going to grab a retaliate because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have close company. At the end of my plot thing, I get my three ones. These ones go back. And now it's his go. So we get one extra health. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I can twirl. So he's on full health. He's then going to move for six. One, two, three, four. And attack me for five. Ouch. Which would probably kill me. So retaliate, ignore all. Oh. Damage on an attack. Okay, so let's do that. We'll play our retaliate. And now I'm in the green. I get three dice. I get one, which is kind of handy. Do I have a close call? Nope. So, all I can do is reduce the attack by two which means I'll take three damage. And do one retaliate plus my knife, which will do two. I'm gonna stick on the side because I know he's on full health. Not entirely useless, but not great. Oh, I didn't get my um, search, did I? I don't know where to search in the cabins. It's the end of the round. No one to panic. Oh. Whenever you're in the same space as the enemy, inflict damage, do a little damage. So I would have done three damage. Okay. My turn. I can do a weak attack, which will allow me to do three. I'm going to do that. And what's the worst that can happen? Because I've got three dice. Oh, okay. Don't want to lose any health. So I really need to throw out two cards to make that a success. I'm going to keep the guard and walk on the focus. So that'll give me two successes. So I do one damage, two with a knife, three with my card. Okay. Probably not. Short sure rest. Probably a good time. Probably a good idea. I'll do a short rest. I've got three. I get one. So I get one. So I, I lose a time, gain a health, but because I've got a First aid kit, I gain two health. Okay, now I've got five left. It's kind of retaliate and close call. No choices there. Um, I go back in the shop. And I'll have those ones for mine. Okay. Killer phase. He will Oh no he didn't do a bloodlust, so I don't know why I was doing that. Got that static. Anyway, he's going to attack. Every victim he kills recovers, so that doesn't matter anyway. Anyway, he's gonna attack for five. So all I can do is 
or Teliate. One. And I'm going to re-roll, play that one to re-roll the dice. Oh, I know you're one of those, which means I can throw away those and give me two. So I could ignore all damage and then, then do two, three, four. Okay, that is the finale. Um, that was his turn. So those, I guess, go back in the shop. Oh, they go in the. Just a second, I will check that out because. Hey, Kind of is important. Blah 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 blah. blah. I don't play reaction phase. You might even know from that each reaction card only defend against single attack. Makes multiple attacks. No, so it's not. Hmm. Doesn't say. I'm putting them back in the shop. Okay. So then my turn. All I've got is a guard, so I'm not doing anything. I've got time, so I've got six. Um, it seems obvious that I'll go for a retaliate and two close calls because that's my six cards so at the end of that I do my planning so I get back all the free ones um, his turn he's not he has his oh he does get a bloodlust yeah I should have done that last turn so he does his because he gets a bloodlust so he gets recover not moving, he's gonna attack me for five. Because I've got lots of cards. Um, I'm going to retaliate and hope I get one. I'll use one of my coast calls. And get a double on it. I'm not walking anywhere, so I'll just throw the walks out. Um, and um, that will turn that to a success. So my retaliate ignores all damage, and I do four. One, two, three, and we get to turn over the card. And he's dead. If they had, had a value on it, um, he would have got more hearts. But that's random. So. Bye bye hands. He's dead. So there you go. That was a rather long finale. Um, retaliate seems to be really handy. Um, if you've got plenty of cards, a weapon, and particularly if you've got your... Um, but that is the easiest of the games, I think. And it's the only one that has no special rules for either hands or the environment. Um, if you've spot, spot mistakes, feel free to stick them in the comments. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like.